what we're going to discuss in this video. First is model of the molecule ethane, ethene, and ethyne. Next is two molecular models of chloroethene, 1,1 dichloroethene, and 1,2 dichloroethene. And lastly, optical isomerism of bromochlorofluoromethane. Hi everyone, today I'm going to discuss about the ability to rotate ethane, ethene, and ethyne in organic molecules. First, just a brief introduction about ethane. As you can see here is the model of ethane. All the bonds in ethane are sigma bonds, and the CC bond is formed from the overlap of NSP3. A rotation can occur because the heaviest electron density in the sigma bond exists along an imaginary line between two carbons nuclei, and rotation does not change this electron distribution. Hence, rotation can occur around the central CC bonds, allowing these two C3 groups of ethane to rotate, allowing the hydrogens on one carbon to adopt different orientations. These arrangements are called conformations. There are two different conformations called eclipse and staggered conformations that can be represented by Newman projection. Ethane will be in eclipse conformation when it has the zero degree dihedral angle, and you can see here the CH bonds are aligned. If you rotate 60 degrees, ethane will transform its conformation to staggered conformation, which is more stable and lower in energy. As you can see here, I'm holding the ethane model. Okay, all of the CC bonds result from the end on end overlap of the sp2 hybrid orbital, and another second CC bond results from the reside by side overlap of 2p orbitals on each carbon. Hence, the rotation around a double bond is restricted because the pi bond prevents rotation due to the electron overlap both above and below the planes of the atoms. And it can only occur if the bond first break and of course, it will require a lot of energy. You can see here, if I rotate, the straw will overlap or the straw will intercept each other. It cannot be rotated. Moving on to the ethane models. Okay, ethane models cannot be rotated same like ethane. However, the difference is only it contains one sigma bond and two pi bonds. These two pi bonds are created by the side-to-side -side overlap of atomic p orbitals and any rotation around the sigma bonds results in the destruction of all the pi bonds. That's why ethane cannot be rotated. And the conclusion that we can make from this discussion is uh, only single bond can be rotated which is ethane and the rest which is ethane and ethane cannot be rotated because it consists of double bond and triple bond. This is two molecular models of chloroethene. Let's see if we can superimpose both of them. First, pour them freely. Do they superimpose approximately on each other? Let's see. Yes, they are superimposable on each other. Do you think that they are two different molecules? No, they both are the same molecules. It is impossible to form isomers. As we can see, at the first double bonded carbon atom, there are two different groups attached to it, which is Cl atom and H atom, where H atom is the common substituent. Whereas at the second double bonded carbon atom, there are two same substituents attached to it, which is H atom. This is two molecular models of 1,1 dichloroethene. Let's see if we can superimpose both of them. First, throw them freely. Do they superimpose approximately on each other? Let's see. Yes, they both are superimposable on each other. Do you think that they are two different molecules? No, they both are the same molecules. It is impossible to form isomers because it does not fulfill minimum requirements to form isomers. As we can see at the first double bonded carbon atom, there are two same group attached to it, which is Cl, 
whereas on the second double bonded carbon atom, there are two same substituents which is H atom. This is two molecular models of 1,2-dichloroethene. Let's see if we can superimpose both of them. First, throw them freely. Do they superimpose approximately on each other? Let's see. No, they both are not superimposable on each other. Do you think that they are two different molecules? Yes, they both are two different molecules. As we can see at here, they have the same connectivity of atoms but differ from each other in the geometry about the double bond. Both molecules are connected to two different groups. One of them is the common substituent which is H atom. We can't rotate the second model to be the same like the first model because rotation at carbon-carbon double bond is restricted. It cannot interconvert without breaking the pi bond at carbon-carbon double bond. Both of the molecules are cis and trans geometric isomers. We can see both Cl atoms are located at the closest and the farthest to each other. The farthest is called trans isomers, whereas the closest is called cis isomers. The naming for both molecules are different. Two minimum requirements for cis trans isomerism is rotation must be restricted in the molecule and there must be two non-identical groups on each doubly bonded carbon atom. Both shows the superimposed molecular models of bromochlorofluoromethane. Both carbon atoms carry four different substituents which are bromine, chlorine, fluorine and hydrogen. When the second model rotated, we can see that the location of bromine and chlorine are not same. It is because this molecule is a chiral and it can form enantiomers. Enantiomers is a non-superimposable mirror image molecule. It is mean that a chiral object has a mirror image that is different from the original object. To produce the mirror image, the bonds must be broken and reform. Thus, the mirror image of the first model can be produced, where the location of fluorine, bromine, chlorine, and hydrogen are same. For the next procedure, First, we exchange two atoms in one model. In this case, we change the position of bromine atom, which is in red color, and chlorine atom, the orange color. Then, we throw both models freely and observe whether these two can be superimposed or not. Both models cannot be superimposed because the bromine and chlorine atoms are mismatched after exchange the position. The models are enantiomers, which are a chiral molecule because it has a chiral carbon. It is also optically active, which has the ability to rotate the plane polarized light. These two molecules remain the same even after we throw both models randomly. Therefore, it is non-superimposable. There is no second different molecule of bromochlorofluoromethane because this molecule can generate three possible stereoisomers. It have the same molecular formula and the same bonding arrangement but a different arrangement of atoms.